Are you looking for the best 3D printers? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. An iCubic Cobra 2. Among the things we look for in an entry level 3D printer are a low price, ease of setup and use, largely problem free operation, and solid print quality. The An iCubic Cobra 2 ticks off all these boxes, plus it's one of the fastest 3D printers we've tested. It lists at just $279 and is easy to use, too, with a unique extruder made to print as fast as possible. For software, it works with the popular open source Cura program we've seen with numerous other 3D printers, but it also comes with the Prusa Slicer app with tons of editing options for new and advanced users. This iCubic printer is great for newbies thanks to its bargain price, easy setup, and fast operation. Although its output in our tests was nearly misprint free, print quality was unspectacular, with detailing that makes it a less than optimal choice for intermediate or expert users. Still, it's a fine, low-risk first platform for those getting their feet wet in 3D printing. Number 2. Creality Ender 3S1 Pro The Creality Ender 3S1 Pro provides good value in an open-frame 3D printer, offering a large print area for its price. Although the S1 Pro comes in kit form, it's largely pre-assembled, so it should be easy enough for even a non-techie to put together and it produced quality prints in our testing. For software, you can use either Cura or the company's own Creality Slicer. The Ender 3S1 Pro works with a variety of filament types, including PLA, ABS, PETC, PAR, Wood Composite, and TPU. Its print bed leveling process, which combines manual and automatic routines, proved slightly cumbersome, but it was easier than on other Creality printers we have reviewed. Setup instructions could be better, and the diagrams are cramped, but fortunately some third-party sites offer useful videos and other getting acquainted help. The Ender 3S1 Pro is aimed at 3D printing newcomers with a DIY mindset, as well as tinkerers on a budget. If you're looking for a plug-and-play 3D printer to get up and running as quickly as possible, you should look elsewhere as print bed leveling can be a challenge. That said, you do learn a lot about how 3D printers work by assembling your own, even with a relatively simple kit like this one. Number 3. An iCubic Viper. The An iCubic Viper, an open frame budget 3D printer, provides a large volume print area and support for automatic bed leveling. It comes partially assembled, with the remaining steps, bolting the frame to the base, plugging several cables into their sockets, and attaching the filament spool holder to the frame, simple and straightforward. As for filament, the Viper supports the standard ABS and PLA, plus TPU and PETC. The printer only comes with a small starter coil, so you'll want to buy at least one spool at purchase. Pro tip, an iCubic and Amazon often offer bundled filament deals when buying a Viper. Due to its competitive pricing, generous build area, and automatic print bed leveling, the Viper is a good choice for 3D printing newbies or hobbyists on a budget. Some of our test prints looked a bit rough hewn, so print perfectionists will want to avoid this one, but its minimal assembly requirements shouldn't deter anyone from buying it on that score. Number 4. Dremel Digi Lab 3D45 3D Printer Dremel is better known for its rotary power tools than its 3D printers, but the company put the same care and craftsmanship into the Digi Lab 3D45 that it has with its more traditional products. The 3D45 consistently produced good quality prints in our testing. A closed frame provides safety to users while prints are in progress. You can print from a computer over a USB, Ethernet, or Wi Fi connection, as well as from a USB thumb drive. Every Dremel printer can connect via the web to the Dremel Print Cloud, from which you can prepare and launch print jobs and even monitor prints in progress from an onboard 720p camera. The Digi Lab 3D45 is made primarily for product developers, engineers, and other professionals, 
although it also should be useful in education. It was originally designed not as a commercial product, but as a tool for engineers at the Robert Bosch Tool Corporation, Dremel's parent company, to use in product design, so it is built to the company's exacting standards. Number 5. Lulzboth Mini 2. Easy to set up and operate. The Lulzboth Mini 2 is an open frame 3D printer capable of printing with a variety of filament types. The Mini 2 supports direct USB connection with a computer, and adds SD card connectivity. It uses thick filament, 2.85 mm, often rounded to 3 mm in descriptions, available on the Lulzboth site and elsewhere. Easy to set up and use. The Mini 2 employs the popular and effective open source Cura printing software. Its overall print quality is solid if not exceptional. The Lulzboth Mini 2 is a good choice for individuals, schools, and community centers thanks to its easy setup and operation. Hobbyists and tinkerers will like its ability to print with a wide variety of filament types. Its build volume is on the small side for an open frame printer, and its print quality is only average, so professionals such as product designers, architects, and engineers may want to look elsewhere to produce larger and or more exacting models.